Hello and welcome back, my beautiful froggy army, to day 9 of designing an island in 30 days with no Nintendo Online. We're playing at a very peaceful 6am on the island today, so I thought we could start out nice and chill. And we're gonna have a very chill daily routine. I checked my mail, shook my trees, ordered my items, picked up my bottle, and got to watering my flowers. It was a very peaceful morning and this was so, so nice to do. I absolutely love this early in-game music and uh, there's just a, a little more chaos later on in the video, so I thought we could at least start off by being somewhat peaceful. I also had a campsite villager and I was very excited, not too hopeful, but pretty excited. So I wished myself luck and uh, I went ahead and I headed inside to see who it was. And it was actually Drift. I was actually so, so glad that we got a little froggy. It was so nice to see him. He's so adorable. Unfortunately, I did not take him, but it was really nice to see him. Leaf was also here on the island today, so I bought some carrots and some bushes and some flowers from him. It was nice to get some carrots. I've been wanting some carrots, so I was very excited to see those there. And then I went ahead and started setting up another flower breeding station for hyacinths, because I really want those pink hyacinths. They are so, so pretty. Their pastel hue is so cute, and I really like it. So I started setting up some red and white hyacinths here. Here, just planting them in that little like grid checkerboard shape kind of layout that I've been doing for all of the flowers. Tom Nook did inform me that I was 198,000 bells in debt but I chose to ignore it and instead order some fence recipes and got a tourist telescope from the Nook Stop. I wanted to take an early morning cap'n tour and I was so excited to find one of the islands with the glowing moss and the vines and the cute white cliffs so I went ahead and harvested everything that I could. I absolutely wanted to use that glowing moss and the vines all around my island and free bushes are always really nice too. And then since I was playing pretty early in the morning, like actually IRL, um, I still was kind of feeling chill. I didn't want to get into too much before I was fully like waking up. So I thought designing some more custom designs would be kind of chill, or, you know, perfect for just continuing to like fully wake up. So I really wanted to do this idea that I had in my head of like this butterfly flying and having like a little trail, like a little loop-de-loop -loop swirl coming behind it, like representing the movement that the butterfly is going in. It's very like cartoony kind of, but I just had the vision and I had to go for it. So once again, if you would like to copy this design, that's totally fine with me. This one I totally came up with of my own volition. Um, I wasn't inspired by anything. So yeah, I was very excited that I actually came up with this on my own. I felt a very big brained and it came out really really cute and as of now this is like my favorite design that i've made and this is the one that i use like the most often so i really really love it and i wanted to make it pink because i just wanted to have some little pops of pink here and there i don't want to go too ham on the pink i want to stick to green and yellow and white for kind of like the color palette for our theme so this is a nice little pop of pink and i actually do add some green back in a little bit later but yeah it came out super duper cute i really love it so that's what I got done and then I logged in a little bit later so here's what I did later. It is me. I am back. Hello. It's a little bit later in the day for me IRL and in Animal Crossing but a couple of updates. So I went to the gym. I walked on the treadmill for an hour and for that entire hour I was just like time traveling farming red ship because red was here yesterday so i was just time traveling back and forth between yesterday and today and i learned a couple of things i am very unlucky in this game i got a lot of bottles on the beach as you can see because it kept spawning new ones and i got some recipes from my villagers because it also reset like the villager that was crafting not only did i just get wallpaper recipes the other ones that i got are duplicates Literally out of the four that I got, one was a wallpaper and then three of them are duplicates. Like what is that luck? I don't know what the message in a bottle's recipes are. Acoustic guitar. Okay. You know what? That's pretty cute. I'll take that. I don't want it to seem like I'm complaining that much, but I'm still going to complain. Like I just keep getting duplicates, recipes, items in nooks. Like it's just ridiculous. I feel like I have lost out on so many opportunities for like new items and new recipes like look at this that's four and there was another duplicate that i got that i already got rid of out of my inventory that's like five diys that i missed out on just because they're freaking duplicates but at least we got some nook miles am i right 
<laughs> Am I right? So another thing, I got a thought bubble. I think it popped up a couple episodes ago, but it looks like it's back. So a bunch of my villagers had thought bubbles. Apparently this was uh, also a really good method for spawning thought bubbles on my villagers. Oh! Speaking of, I was just about to say, all of the villagers that got Thought Bubbles, they were all the exact villagers that I wanted to keep, and I was so freaking upset about it. And of course, it's the villager that I was like, eh, you know, she's okay, I'll keep her. We'll we'll let her go. We'll let her go. It's fine. Well, that's exciting. That means we're going to be doing a villager hunt very, very soon. So I'm going to have to stock up on some Nook Miles again, because right now I only have 11,000. Well, I have one extra ticket left over from our hunt. But anyway, unfortunately, I did not get any flowers duplicating or making hybrids while I was time traveling. I think it was because I wasn't watering them, but it's okay. We'll just give them a nice refreshing water right now. Thankfully, my hyacinths have grown in, so thanks besties for growing. So proud of you. We also got Nook Miles for doing that. Awesome. No, this is actually really helpful since we're gonna hunt soon. So anyway, I feel like I've already done a whole lot today, but we're gonna keep doing a whole lot because... You know, the grind never stops. The hustle never stops. I also have quite a bit of uh, like my crops and stuff grown in. I'm going to go ahead and pick these. I'm also going to give them a water because I feel like they look a lot cuter when they have like those three little sprouts coming from each one. It's always so cute. And then the other update that I have for you, what I was also working on at the gym on the treadmill. I actually got a lot done on the treadmill. It was a lot more productive than I thought it was going to be. I made a whole bunch more custom designs. So we'll start off with a basic one right here, this guy. These are the ones that come literally with your custom designs like pre-built into it. All I did was I changed the leaf colors to kind of like match my like my uh, big path that I'm making a little bit more. And then I made a cute little button. I just totally winged it. Um, it came out pretty pretty good it's pretty simple to do and then i made some bees you can see some bees here these are the little ones and i also made some big ones because i felt like the little ones were a little too dinky looking i think that's my problem i make my custom designs like too small so i made some big ones they're just uh they're just a little easier to tell that they're bees and, and the stripes look a little bit nicer i made a carrot and then i lastly took some inspiration from the other path that comes with your custom design, so little paw prints, but I wanted to make them bunny paw prints, so I attempted to make bunny paw prints. I don't know if these are bunny paw prints, but I, I tried my best, okay? So this is what it's looking like. These are all the custom designs. I really like, well, ig ig ignore this. I was trying to make like a little circle flower wreath and it wasn't working, <laughs> but I feel like everything's really coming together and I love how it's all looking, especially this path. Oh, this path is just chef's kiss beautiful so yeah i'm really excited about everything um i feel like these are really going to help us even if these are the only custom designs i make i feel like these will make a huge difference we don't need that many honestly so that's uh that's some progress but a lot of my money trees also grew in and a lot of money spots spawned so like time traveling back and forth between two days is like really good because you just reset the crafting villager you reset the message in a bottle you reset the glowing spot apparently and i don't know about fossils either maybe those two and on top of all of that i was doing it for red so i was also getting new items in reds oh i meant to go get those out of my mailbox that's what i was going to do next honestly i didn't get a whole lot the only items i got were this mama bear and i got this revolving spice rack like that was it for the like the items but in terms of art i wanted to get statues because i thought statues would be really cute so I got two statues. I have so many items in here that I keep ordering and I just never take them out. Whoops. We'll have to go through one day and just clear all of that out. So these are the two statues I got. They were the only ones that popped up that were like kind of cute, you know? And then I wanted to put this Taurus telescope up here. We ordered that from the Nook Stop. It's the most beautiful, cute little shade of green. So I love that. I was thinking it might finally be time to do our first build. And I thought that my first build was going to be the little like pond area, this little area in the middle here that I cleared out. But I'm thinking resident services is already like primed and prepped and like ready to go. So I kind of want to do a resident services build. Honestly, it's not really a build. It's just going to be like decorating, but I think we can do it. I think it's finally time. So I'm going to clear out my inventory, go grab a bunch of items and then we'll get started. Okay, I got some stuff ready to go. I am going to focus on trees first, so I would pick up more items, especially from our little mood board over here, 
but I gotta get some trees in the inventory first. Oh my goodness, I I should move Abel's. Oh, I feel so bad. I'm thinking I do want to move Abel's and put like some cliffs back here and then put some trees on top of those cliffs just to give like more height. Here's where we're looking on trees. Got four over there, got one over here. Everyone's singing, disturbing me. Um, There's just a lot of mess everywhere and I don't know how to deal with it and my path isn't finished either oh my goodness i'm just gonna try my best you know it doesn't have to be the most amazing thing we've ever done ever it can be simple and basic but we can always add to it later let's start off simple let's start making little areas i'm gonna do a cute little like table i brought a table and chair right under the tree so cute and of course there's a there's a freaking balloon in the middle of this when i'm trying to do things this better be an item we can decorate with or else yeah you know what i'm gonna give this to quilson take this freaking spiderweb shirt look at him look at him go <laughs> <laughs> okay, putting like a cute little flower on top of that. And then let's clear these flowers and start working on the surrounding area. Honestly, I'll probably end up putting my little path here. So let's just get started on that. We'll do the most we can. I don't have the bottom three pieces, but I'll, I'll make them. I'll make them eventually. Oh my goodness. Go where I want you to go. Uh, I need to start moving some of these flowers. Okay, I'm gonna put one here. And then I was thinking our little picnic blanket could go here. This is turning out to be a lot of yellow. I'm I'm seeing a lot of yellow here. So we gotta get some other colors back in here. I mean, the, the main path that I'm using, the, my custom design path has a lot of green. So maybe that'll kind of help out. Why does this feel like the tiniest picnic blanket like I've ever seen in my whole life? I'll bring in a little pop of pink with our little flower custom design. Okay, that's not where I wanted you to go. That's not where I wanted you to go. Oh, I'm gonna put a Lily record player here because it's also near the plaza and my villagers like to sing so maybe I can play some music here and it'll be nice and cute and they can sing along, you know? And then let's also put some things on the picnic blankets like a cute little kettle and i'll put some cotton candy as well we have another balloon what the heck i feel like i literally just popped the other one this is gonna go in the river yep okay at least we get nook miles for that like i'm not gonna be that upset about it just a little bit it's 500 you know what i'll take it okay this is about where i can go with the custom design i still need to do the bottom three we can always continue this tomorrow when i have some more stuff done you know those custom designs done we move ables stuff like that i'm gonna sprinkle in some of this fencing throughout also because i really like this fencing okay i'm gonna put some lilies down here i'm gonna fill a lot of empty space with weeds like i'm honestly I'm probably gonna go overboard with weeds on this island. I just feel like overgrown weeds are gonna fit very nicely, so I'm not gonna be afraid to go ham on weeds. I have absolutely no idea what to put in this like big space right here. So watch this, watch this. Boom. Flowers. Like, honestly, like, you know, good enough. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. You walk through here, you know, this this back part is probably not gonna be, I'm not gonna try to make it accessible because like, why am I gonna walk back here? I do wanna move Abel's and build some cliffs right here in the center back part. I'll probably extend them a little bit to the right. So I'm not sure what to do about this right side yet. I kind of wanna build the cliffs first, so. We're gonna focus on this little area. I'm gonna totally overdo it with my custom designs, you know, the usual. I forgot I have bushes now, so where can I sneak a little sneaky bush in? If I don't end up putting some cliffs right here, this is a good spot. And I'll just toss one right here behind this little piece of fence. And now I'm gonna get started on this little section. This, I run across this a lot, so I kind of want to be careful. I don't want to put too much stuff. I don't want to put anything that's going to be annoying and get in the way. I'm just going to use this little dirt path, like anywhere that is kind of like empty-ish. Just put some little dots, you know, just for like, I don't know, some character. Oh, hello, Marina. I didn't even know you were back here. <laughs> Excuse you. I was trying to put down a put down a piece of path. Sorry. I truly, I truly don't know what to put here. Uh, we're gonna figure it out. When in doubt, custom designs and fencing? Question mark? We can put two right here. That's probably the only spot I'll put some. We'll probably put either an item or a flower right here. Um, I still don't know where this river is gonna go. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just gonna wait to focus on, uh, we'll focus on that next, that right side a little bit later because I just want to get those cliffs going and stuff like that. Oh my goodness, I can't, I can't do anything without these bottom three custom designs. Okay, let me just 
do like placeholders at the very least. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. I very quickly just made like the little uh, bases because I just, I don't feel like doing the whole thing right now. But I'll just probably finish this up tonight. I just don't want to like work on it right now because I'm, I'm just like in the mood of, uh, you know, decorating. I am so incredibly hungry right now. I, it's 5 p.m. for me IRL and I'm just starving. I think we're gonna have a frozen pizza for dinner and just like easy peasy something just like throw in the oven and I I'm so freaking excited for it, like unreasonably excited. I think I'll end off the path right here. It'll come to a little stop and let's put, I've been wanting to put a gnome somewhere. Let's just put this little guy in this spot right here. And then I'm gonna do just like some little dirt path little guys then i'm just gonna fill in with some other custom designs here we'll do some little footprints um these empty spots i'm gonna fill them with weeds let's do some log stakes right here actually <laughs> You know me, you know me. Custom design first, and then the log stakes. I think I'm gonna plant a little carrot right here. That's gonna be so cute. And then I'm gonna take my weeds and just fill in wherever else is looking kind of empty. Um, Definitely a lot over here. I don't know, I might change this up. I'm always really bad at decorating just like tiny little spaces like this. Like I only got two tiles to work with. Like, I don't know what to do here. But yeah, I'm gonna end it off here because I'll most likely continue the flower path over here but I just don't know where it's gonna lead. I'm gonna work on this right section another time. Oh, you know what would be amazing? Putting some wheat fields in place of these weeds. Like I would love to put a wheat field like right behind here. That would absolutely be fantastic. Actually, a bush wouldn't be bad right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's, that's nice, that's nice. But yeah, some wheat fields would be absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah, let me finish off this path. I totally forgot about this. I'm hoping that I get that item at some point. I don't know, I think it's just in nooks or maybe in reds, so we'll have to keep checking. And then this is kind of like an empty space, like there's not really anything here besides this path. So what I thought could be cute is to drop this little lost item right here. I think that's so adorable. It just adds like a little touch, you know, something there and you can just walk over it. So it's not really like in the way. One last item that I wanted to include is this cute little destination signpost. Oh, where can I fit this in? Okay, what if I move these flowers? Okay, I can stick it right there. What do we think? <laughs> I think that's okay. I think it fits. We had to sacrifice um, some flowers and a little uh thing of weeds but i think that's really cute i needed something tall in here anyway and uh you can still walk through here so yeah that's looking good everything's looking really cute i just need to finish the path and i just want to see how it's looking from the top of our lookout spot because i'm just very curious i think it's looking nice with those cliffs behind resident services i think it'll really help it look extra extra nice so okay we did a great job today good job team go ahead and take five. So that was really fun. We just kind of like dipped our toes into decorating and I think this came out absolutely fantastic like for what we've been working with, you know what I mean? I think I'm gonna spice some of these weeds up and uh, replace them with some of this glowing moss. And like I was saying, it's not fully finished. I'm gonna work on this, not right now, the right side. So this is like half of resident services done, <laughs> yay. But yeah, let me go ahead and move Abel's while I'm still remembering, while it's still fresh in my brain. And now the question, where the heck do I put Abel's sisters? You know what, I have an idea and I'm just gonna run with it because if I don't put it where I'm imagining, oh my god, Rory, move. <laughs> if I don't put it where I'm imagining right now, I feel like I just I just don't know where else to put it. So I'm gonna put Abel's back here. This is like this little pond area that I cleared out. It's really cute. Of course, this whole area isn't gonna be Abel's, but I'm gonna put it like back here against this wall. And this is what it would look like. I think that's perfectly fine. Let's move it over here. So that's gonna do it for today. We got a lot done, did our very first decorating. We got a lot of custom designs done. We have a new fancy fresh custom designs. And tomorrow, I believe we will have a villager hunt video to do. Another villager hunt video so soon. It's really exciting. Um, Tonight I'm gonna be getting a bunch of nook miles off camera. So that's gonna be just my next little project so yeah i'm very excited for tomorrow's video thank you so so much for watching and keeping up with this series i really appreciate you thank you so much again and i will see you tomorrow Bye.